Welcome back to People Are Talking. Remember, we're asking you the question, has tabloid TV gone too far? Call this number, 201-480-VOTE. Press Y on your touch-tone phone for yes. Press N for no. Now, maybe last Friday you saw this show because so many people did. It was the Geraldo brawl on the Geraldo Rivera show. Can we see that clip, please? Sit down. Hey, come on. Get on the kid. Get on the kid. Get on the kid. Get on the kid. Hey, hold it. Hey, sit down. Hold it. Sit down. Of course, a brawl ensued between skinheads and Geraldo. Geraldo ended up on the cover of Newsweek magazine with a broken nose and with the label Trash TV affixed to his program. Uh, a man that was involved in that particular altercation and one on the Morton Downey show was Roy Innes. In this particular incident, Morton Downey uh, had Sh Al Sharpton as a guest and a shoving match ensued on that program. With him and the other, that's a lot of crap. Brother, you have your chance. That's a lot of crap. Brother, 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 brother. For Morton Downey, that program produced the largest audience his show ever received. Geraldo's program, which aired last Friday, usually does a six rating nationally. Last Friday, it did a 13.9 rating in the overnight ratings. If you think tabloid TV has gone too far, why do you watch it? Why do you give it such large ratings? We're going to ask you to give us a ring here, and people are talking, and tell us why you watch tabloid TV. Just, uh, no, that's the, uh, that's the people poll there. But we have another number that we will be putting up on the screen for you to call and tell us why you watch tabloid TV in such large numbers. Let me go to, the, why do you watch it? Why do you watch this stuff? Yes? We like to learn as much as we can, but I prefer they keep it nice. Keep it nice. What does keep that mean? Did, did Geraldo show Geraldo go too far? Geraldo was very nice. It, it went too far, not because of Geraldo. Um, Morton Downey's show is crass. I like to hear everything that's going on. I want to learn everything. God, before I die, I want to learn everything. Okay. But I don't want to hear all that loud, uh, filthy talk. Okay. We have somebody on the show right now who was involved in both those incidents on Geraldo and on the Morton Downey show. He's been a frequent guest here. People are, are talking as well. His name is Roy Innes, and he says Geraldo is a hero. Please welcome him to the show. All right. Why, in your mind, is Geraldo a hero? What did he do that was heroic? The first thing he did was to be fair. He broke the invidious censorship that exists against guys like Tony Imperiali, myself, and others, grassroots leaders in the white and black community who have things to say that people want to hear that we aren't allowed to say in many of those problem-type programs. You know, there are a lot of TV right, programs didn't that... didn't that show get out of hand? Look, you have a bunch of clowns, like those kinheads, who become abusive. Putting those guys down is not getting out of hand. You got a Sharpton being abusive and assaulting you verbally, assaulting the public for 11 months. Putting that guy down is not getting out of hand. Well, not putting him down, but pushing him down. Is that getting out of hand? Any way you put him on his butt is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you're applauding. But this isn't wrestling. It's a talk show. And there are so many red flags that go up during a talk show when something could be potentially violent. And as a talk show host, I have a certain responsibility here. That's right. I have a responsibility to make sure that my audience is safe while they're here, That's that true. my guests are safe while they're here. Yes. If I see, like, Kelly Everett standing up and something could possibly happen, she might go over and assault Anthony or, or she might step on his toe, it's my job to say, Kelly, please sit down. Then now, why do you have Roy Innes on the show when he's already beaten up two guys on two different shows? He's been on why the don't you ban him? He's dangerous. Why should he be banned? Huh? He because Roy Innes... He started all this. No, he didn't start it. Because Roy Innes has been a frequent guest on the show we and there has the never been today. you want to hear answers or do you just want to keep talking Go ahead. okay because Roy Innes has been a guest on the show many many times you made a hero out of him because he can't do you don't want to hear an answer he's been a hero since and he's he been on the show the element that's he's been on the show many country. times and there has since never been violence guys, on the show he's been on the show since then Kelly because he hit the guy Kelly I don't want to tell you to shut up because I don't want to end up in court yes I watched that show that she was on with Morton that night because I can't sleep till a little later. And the one thing that turned me 
crazy was when she said, I had a vision and I do this for God. That is insanity. That is not insanity. Well, How do you know what I have Kelly, you claim with God? Kelly, you claim that the Virgin Mary came to you and told you to strip for God. Is that basically it? I have had visions of God, the blessed Lord, angels, saints, the blessed Virgin. I have an intimate union with God. Why can't I? Okay, let me get to, let me get to some other people out here in the God. audience. Yes, please. Then why did you blame the Catholics that night for the Jews being killed when the Germans did it? I Not the Catholics. I Hold on. I was talking about Kelly. putting the Jews in the ghetto a long but time ago. But you Jews and the Kelly. Catholics are Anthony, doing it. Anthony, hold on for a right. second. Yes. And it wasn't, it wasn't even nothing to authentic. Do with Excuse me, that please. Can I ask your cooperation here just for a moment? Yes. Kelly, I'd like to know if you had such a bad experience and you don't like the way you're being perceived by some audiences or perhaps the way you're treated, mm -hmm. why are you here? Why do you keep coming back? I if I went someplace and they didn't like me, I wouldn't go back. Autonomy. I am fighting for all women in, uh, in my profession and women in general. Women who are perceived as sex do objects. Do they ask you to subject yourself to this? Who are perceived as sex objects. People think, let's bash the whores. Let's hurt them. Let's persecute them. It's okay to hurt them. They're nothing. They're garbage. They're sleaves. They don't deserve any rights. And you are put in a straight jacket. All right, wait a second. Yvette, you also jacket. appeared on the show, and you were a stripper as well, but you were not physically assaulted, right? No, I wasn't. No, right, so I was on this show twice, and well, I did my talking, strip yes. act, and we had a lot of fun with it. What I'm here for today is to make it clear that not all strippers and not all nudity leads to drug taking and prostitution, which was said on the Morton Downey show. Okay, but wait a second. If you've seen the Morton Downey show, you know to some extent it's almost like a cartoon for adults. It's a little bit like the, the, the Saturday morning wrestling. If we really thought, if we really thought that, that Andre the Giant was going out there and breaking his arm, and we actually thought that they were shoving their fingers up each other's nose into their brains and that they were actually in pain, do you think we'd let 10-year-old kids watch that stuff? No, it's an act. It's, it, it, it's like a cartoon. It's not real. It's, it's not to be taken all that seriously. And the same thing might be said for Morton's show. There are messages that are important on that show. But if you go on that show, I, I think if you go on that show, and then you come off and you say, Morton yelled at me, and you're surprised by that, Richard. it's not meet the press. Richard, we were told different. I was told different because I didn't want to go on his show. But they called me twice. They really wanted me there, and they promised me something entirely different. He didn't yell at me. He interrogated me. I didn't get yelled at, but I did walk off the show. And uh, well, when Morton comes at you, left. when Morton comes at you, he was standing on a stage and I was at a loud mouth. Yeah. And I said something and he came at me. And I'll tell you, the man is very frightening. He's like a freight train. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't, He's very wait. frightening. Being when a he stripper all you. these years, don't tell me him approaching you scared you. You've been in every class in town. Now, if you're a professional stripper, just because a host walks toward you, that's intimidating. Right, Richard, that's baloney. Richard, and and Richard, one thing like about the Downey answer. show, Morton knows how to play the audience, he knows how to play his Richard. guests, and if something tends to get out of hand, the security people are right there. Morton Why did a... they stop him from assaulting me Richard. then? He didn't from... assault you. Richard. You assaulted him. You enjoy violence. You are clapping. Every time violence comes up, you're clapping. You're one of those guys like on the Downey Show that checks in his brains you know what with the territory when you went on the show. Richard. You know what with, with the territory when you went on the show. All right. What is Mr. Ennis. The Christians being thrown to the Romans? Hold on, what? She doesn't, she doesn't like violence. She's telling everybody she goes around whipping people, a bimbo. That's a whole different ball game. That's SNM. Kelly. SNM is with... With, Kelly, with if you don't enjoy... There's one thing about S&M with consensual adults. There's another thing to beat up people, non-consensual victims. But Kelly, victims. I didn't consent There's a to have you. There's distinction there. Kelly, I didn't consent. You consented. You wanted me on the show. They said, bring but all my whips did I tell and my you equipment. Did I... And you had a blast. Look, do you want to have a screaming all, that match? That was a fun show. I can talk louder than you. Did you have you. fun at the I show? I can talk I softer than you, and I can also turn off your mic. All right. Okay, so calm down. Just like you did the other show I was on. Yeah, right, and for good reason. Now, let me tell you something. I did not tell you to come on this show and whip me. And I never said that. And if you say that, then you're the a liar. The producers told no, me. No, they, they told you to whip me? That's right. Who told you, you that? If you got out of Who? hand. <laughs> you know, do you know, did you tell her to whip me on that show? I did not. Okay. Can I just say something's important? You've no, got she about just told me What? She just told me that Mort's people said that Tony Imperiali wears women's underwear and to question him where he gets all his money from. 
First of all, lady, I don't wear woman's underwear, and I don't believe don't you were told me. that. Don't look at me. They all said right, let me return to the Geraldo incident and the Morton incident for a you. second I like here. You. I used Mr. To like Ennis, you. Well, on that Geraldo show, certainly uh, 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 there was uh, a melee that took place. Uh, Geraldo left the stage. He came back out with his nose bleeding, and he finally went to break. Was, did Geraldo lose control during the course of that show? No. Geraldo, keep in mind, Geraldo got struck by the chair backing me up. He was covering my back. The chair was thrown at me. Right, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you how, and, 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 and this is Monday morning quarterbacking, and I will accept that. But on this particular show, when I watch that tape of Geraldo, I see one thing. When a guest starts calling somebody else a, a, a nigger or a kike, I will not allow that. Exactly. I stop right there exactly. and I say, look, I'll listen to your ideas, but I will not let my guest be verbally assaulted on that, the show. That's, that's one red flag. That's Second right. red flag, when you get up out of your chair, I say, Mr. Innes, please sit down. When you continue walking across the stage, I come to the lip of the stage and I say, Mr. Innes, please, I'm going to have to ask you to return to your seat. When you're head to head with the guy, I come between you and I say, please, Roy, if you don't sit down, I'm going to have to go to break and have you leave. There were so many points in that tape where violence could have been averted if Somebody was alert to it. It moved rather fast. You know, the, I think Geraldo assumed, as I intended to do, to go and to instruct this guy to cut out the verbal assault. Right. I was not going to hit him. But you know what, Geraldo? I could have if I wanted Geraldo to. Geraldo should have right. done that because it, the name of the show is Geraldo. And it's his responsibility. And it may be easy for me to say because I wasn't there and because we've seen the tape and we know what happened. But that is just my reaction. Last time you appeared on the show, you said to me, Geraldo's the kind of guy you want to go into a dark alley with you. That's right. And it may be true, if you're in a dark alley, you don't want Donahue taking your back. Definitely not. Donahue's more of a man than Geraldo. But Harambo I will tell you this. But at the same time, you don't want to take somebody out of a dark alley and make them a talk show host. There's a great responsibility that's involved in here for all the people who are here as audience guests and guests on home base. We've asked you about the responsibility that television has to you. Has tabloid TV gone too far? This is your reaction at this point. 45% of you say yes. 55% of you say no. You can continue voting during the course of the show. Call 1-201-480-VOTE. Press Y if you think it's gone too far. Press no if you think it hasn't gone too far. I don't know how much farther it can go. When we come back, though, I would like to take your reactions. Why do you watch tabloid TV? Why do you give these shows the highest ratings in the history of television when they get violence, when they get, when they get sexy? Give us a ring and we'll be talking to you on tabloid television. Has it gone too far? We'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us. Um, they bring out a lot of uh, interesting points of view. I think for pure entertainment reasons, they serve a purpose for people. I think they're just done to, to exploit the, um, the host, to give him more publicity.